So I have absolutely nothing on my face, but I am going to apply this Morgan Miller Rose Hip Facial Oil. I do break out a lot with oils, but I find that this one doesn't. And you do want to make sure that your skin is nice and prepped because if you don't prep your skin, it's going to look cakey and you want to look flawless in pictures. This one is good for anti-aging. It helps tone and calm the skin. It has antioxidants, which is great and it's for all skin types. So I love how this has been making my skin feel and look. Everything just blends nice. So I'm just taking a little bit of the oil. It has this cute little dropper and I'm just going to apply it all over and on my lips. I'm going to prep and prime my face with this Maybelline uh, Master Prime. This is the hydrating and smoothing one and it's a very affordable primer. I'm going to cover up some of my redness that I have on my skin with this Wet n Wild concealer. This is a photo focus concealer in light medium beige so I'm just going to tap it wherever I have redness. If you do not own a beauty sponge, I highly recommend the Real Techniques one. It's very affordable. I think, I think it's about five to six dollars. And you can find it at Target. So with that same concealer, I'm going to apply it to my lids. And this is going to be like my base for shadow. And I'm taking my favorite translucent powder. You can get this at Walmart, Walgreens, and I'm just taking a little bit and dust them off. And I'm going to set my concealer, and then we're going to start with our shadow. I'm like obsessed over this palette. It's by NYX, and it is the ultimate multi-finish shadow in Sugar High. It has very beautiful colors for prom, so I'm going to take this matte shade right here and just blend it onto my crease. I'm using the Maybelline 24 hour foundation because it is full coverage, it's affordable, and it's going to last you all night. I'm going to take my concealer, which is the Wet n Wild, this. So I do down my nose and then upward. So everything is lifted. I never went to prom. So when I do prom makeup looks, I get like really excited. Okay, so I patted everything in. So with the same air sponge transfer. And I'm not gonna bring it down too low, just really underneath my eyes. So it sets. I'm taking this Wonder Stick by NYX. I don't think I have ever tried their Wonder Sticks. This one is the Shade Universal. First time trying it. It's double-ended, so this is the lighter side and this is the darker shade. I like the darker shade. It looks really good for contouring, so I'm excited about that. This um, this has like a highlight, like a pearl effect, so this is definitely highlighter, not a brightener. So I wouldn't use this underneath my eyes. I'm not even going to use that side. But this side, it's pretty good to contour. It's not too dark, but it's not too light either. 
So I'm taking this Morphe M334 brush and I'm going to blend this out. If you guys have not tried this micro brow pencil by NYX, you guys need to try it. It's amazing. It reminds me of the brow is and of course it's more affordable so you can still have like really flaky eyebrows and I always blend it with this spoolie right here so it's not too harsh. With the Wet n Wild concealer, I'm going to take some on a small brush just to clean up underneath my brows. This is something you guys need to do, okay? If you guys are going to do your own makeup, try this out. If you've never done it, I mean, if you have, you already know why. If you haven't, it makes your eyebrows like super clean. And I'm going to blend it out. And then with a clean blending brush, just go back and just blend that purple shadow with the concealer. So it's going to blend very nice. So the key to getting like that beautiful blend is to always go back and just keep on blending. I want to use a clean brush for this step because you don't want to keep adding color. So now another thing for prom makeup is lashes. And I know a lot of girls are scared to have like crazy dramatic lashes. These are one of my favorites. They're, I'll put a link to her website down below but her lashes are beautiful and this is like my favorite style but it definitely gives your eyes a beautiful pop i'm a huge fan of the ardo wispies but you definitely want something a little extra you know if it's a special event if it's like an everyday thing that you're doing like everyday makeup it's fine but for a special event lashes make a huge difference house of lashes has beautiful lashes and i do have a video on how to apply false eyelashes if you ladies don't know how to apply false eyelashes I'm gonna put it up here somewhere so you guys could check it out so once I apply the glue I like to let it dry a little bit because if I put it on like right away it's not gonna stick and it's gonna fall and it's gonna get messy so I'm gonna wait a little bit I'm just gonna go back to my eyes and check that I don't have glitter on my liner if I do I'm just gonna go back with my liquid liner and just go over it okay so I just grabbed some tweezers and I'm about to pop on the lashes I like to look down in the mirror and place it in the center. Do you guys see the difference? It's like, it's so beautiful. Let's go back with more liner, even if it looks fine, but it just seals the deal and it just looks really pretty in pictures when you have that extra layer of liner on top of your lashes. So for liner on the waterline, I'm gonna take some of my e.l.f. gel. If you have a pencil, you can use a pencil, but I normally go for gel. I know, it's like I'm the worst at applying eyeliner to the bottom because I don't really do it. But I'm gonna take this purple and I'm going to blend it to my lower lash line. I'm gonna blend some of that purple shadow. Put mascara on the top lashes it doesn't really matter but the bottom you need to work that mascara into these lashes honestly for me prom i would if i would have gone to prom i would have done my hair like really pretty and i would have really focused my makeup on the eyes that's why i'm a huge fan of glitter if it comes to like something extravagant for uh, my face, I'm using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. I'm gonna go over where we apply bronzer and I got this brush from NYX. It's number 06. It looks like that. It's so good for contouring, I'm obsessed. I was actually on the hunt for something to contour just to make it easier for me and they sent me this one and I was like, what? I was like, I'm obsessed with this brush. It's very stiff, but it's a soft stiff. It's not, you know, it's not like those stiff brushes that hurt your face. It's actually a very soft but stiff brush. So it's going to do the job by contouring. Beauty by Rosita totally put me onto this blush. 
It is by Burt Bees, Bare Peach. I found it at CVS. Beautiful. This is all I've been using. I'm not a huge fan of blush, but this color looks so pretty. For my highlight, I'm taking Fuego by Dose of Colors. So for lips, I'm taking this um, Girl Lactic Bashful. It's like a beautiful nude color. And it's matte because it lasts all day. It feels good. It smells good. The color is on point. All right, guys. I don't know how you ladies are going to do your hair. I'm sure you guys are going to have like updos or like curls or something, you know. So just to set my face a little bit, I'm taking this HD Finishing Powder by NYX everywhere but my contour. Especially right here because yo girl is getting old so I'm getting wrinkles. You want to make sure that you set your makeup or do some kind of finishing spray at the very end just so it makes your skin look flawless and so your makeup can last all night so i'm going to take this one by jarred cosmetics it's the slay all day this one actually i think they just came out with this little set it's the mini bottles i'm going to show you guys put it in the box just so you guys can see it but it comes with three look how beautiful they're so cute um so this one is the uh, spray all day cucumber this one is the rose and then the lavender I love all of them but I find that these two have more of a minty refreshing feel and smell and this one has like that minty feel and smell but it's not as strong as this one uh, this one's more just straight up rose but I'm gonna take my lavender one today I like all of them I just I don't know which one you know they're all good um, they smell amazing and they make my makeup last and I just love how they're small so you can carry them in your purse or at least carry one in your purse and then have the rest just chilling on your vanity because they're just so cute um, but I'm going to use the lavender one today look how cute it is um, and they're cruelty free which is amazing I love that so in the back it says spray before or after your makeup application to keep your face fresh and flawless this is skin matte and increases the wear time of your makeup which is what we need it holds my hair back i could already smell it. it smells like lavender it smells so good and just spray i don't know what it is maybe you may or may not like that minty refreshing feeling that it gives but it just smells and feels amazing i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and Hopefully it wasn't too hard to achieve. I know for prom water girls like to do glitter and I fell in love with this little NYX glitter set. It's just the cutest thing ever. It comes with a glue too, but I use the middle glitter and they're just amazing. And glitter is like everything for proms. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you guys are doing for prom and what look you're going for. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.